what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to jump back into the world of boxing because of course I have a lot more that I do want to learn and I've looked at a lot of great individuals when it comes to the athletes in the world of boxing but I also want to go ahead and take a look at some of the things that you guys are some of the people that you guys said that I need to look at so today we're going to take a look at the highly recommended highly asked about highly mentioned Prince Nas Nassim Ham I looked it up trying to pronounce the name. I hope I got it right. But regardless, with that being said, if I said it wrong, you guys, let me know. And I hope, hope I got it right. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into getting some information on him and just kind of getting to know him a little bit first. And then we'll go ahead and go from there and jump into taking a look at him in action. So let's start. All right, here we go. As far as what he looks like, so let's see. This must be well a then and now photo. Regardless, he looks like a very fit fighter. Um, has a lot of belts to be wearing at once, so that's a nice photo for sure. Looks highly accomplished. Looks like a great guy. Looks like he's been cut. I don't know too much about that haircut. I don't know if that's my thing, but that doesn't make him you know looking better or worse or anything like that it's not not even the point anyway but now let's go ahead and take a look at some information about him as well so um nasin ham uh formerly known or commonly known as prince so that's why you guys seem to call him prince because i was wondering um why was he called prince um nasim or nas uh, he's a former British professional boxer who competed from 1992 to 2002, so held multiple championships at featherweight, so that's awesome. So let's see here. He's, his weight class that he's fought in has been bantam, bantamweight, super bantamweight, and featherweight. He is five foot four and a half. Oh my gosh, I think that is the shortest person I've seen so far when it comes to any combat sports so I'm curious to just see him in action for sure it'll be something different to take a look at um, his reach is 64 inches born uh, February 12 1974 currently the age of 44 out of um, Sheffield York South Yorkshire England and or Yorkshire I don't I hope I said it right. Yorkshire I hope I had it right the first time and let's see stance is southpaw his boxing record he has 37 total fights 36 wins, all of them 31 by knockout, and one loss. So you've got 36 wins out of 37. So pretty much like a pretty clean record there when it comes to um, him in the ring. So we'll go ahead and, oh, he was inducted into the uh, international, inducted, I mean, into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 2015. Awesome. So... Now it's time to go ahead and take a look at him in action. So let's go, guys. Alrighty, so we're going to take a look at this video. Freeze. Nothing to play with still, even though he's, he's not so big. I'm just. Oh, he's done so far. 12 fights, 10 of them stopped. Oh. Wow. Oh, my goodness. He took this round. Oh. And it looks as though he's going to do it too. He said five foot four and a half, but he ain't playing no games. Look at him. Jeez. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's like leaping into you. Oh my god. That was just massive. Oh. Oh my gosh. Like, wow. He like fights like kind of awkward but like in a beautiful way like the way he does what he does out there. Look at him. Oh. It's a foolish fight. It's all over. 
motion to like the way he punches kind of like he like kind of comes in really quick and then kind of like leans back kind of reminds me of like Michael Jackson video when like he was in the video I can't even think of the name of the video if you guys know it say it in the comments um he kind of like leans all the way forward the way he goes forward it seems like he should fall from his punches and then he kind of like leans back to really quick like he's got this whole thing going when he does his punch it just kind of reminded me of that for a second not too happy to another big left hand. This fellow is durable, but even he was wobbled by that. Oh my goodness. Blood coming from his nose. This could be the finish now. They want to stop it. The Dio's corner want to stop it. That is a big puncher. Wow. I'm pretty sure there was more to that fight, but geez, one hit and he was down. Kelly does hard punches again. This fight has ebbed and flowed back and forth. Oh my gosh, and he just bends around like rubber, like he's just all over. Hey, what? This guy, did you start off looking at the ground? Look at him. Why is he looking down for that? It's not how you want to approach. But he's like explosive, like, look at him. Just boom, boom. Jeez. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Like, just seeing him is so different. Like, 
I really, really think, I, I mean, I just got to say it, like, I think, although he's got, like, this awkwardness to, like, his, his fighting style, I think that it just, and his, he's got great angles and all this stuff, like, it poses a major problem to those that are fighting him, like, look at what's going on, like, it's so different, and it's so awkward that it's a problem, like, wow. Oh, that was nice. Yay! Body and face is done. Oh my god. Look at him. Oh, got him with a clean one. Yikes. This is like so much just energy just blowing, just going, just, oh, I love it. Look at it. And he's got a nice little power behind those punches. Oh, oh my gosh. He couldn't even compose himself at all after that. Him and these flips, that's got to be hit. Wait a minute, that punch was just way too straight to the face, like, just open. Jeez. Oh. Look how he gets out the way really quick, though. He's good. Look at, oh. I ain't seen nobody duck that low. He gets down. Ah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was nice for sure, you guys. Thank you very much. I know you guys have been saying, watch him. You have to, you have to, you have to watch him. And I, it was coming. I, I swore it was coming, you guys. I just got to get to it. And I thank you guys for being patient. And I'm happy that I finally did get to it because what a joy. Like, watching him, like, now that's something that's great entertainment right there. It says he stopped fighting in 2002 or he, he was done up until then, I believe. Um, curiosity as to why. Um, I probably need to go read some more just to get more information on him. I always like to dabble a little bit more to learn more. And I learn more from you guys as well when you guys are commenting. So thank you guys so much for answering like questions that I have for sure. Um, I did hear in the video that they called him Ahmed. Although when I looked up, they said Hammed, which probably was like, the English version of um, Ahmed. So Nassim Ahmed is probably his name, but I, if I said it wrong or right, I'm gonna find out from you guys anyway. You guys don't let me down as well. I am glad that I got to watch this video. What a crazy different style to watch when it comes to boxing. So thank you guys very much. I hope you guys liked it as well. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time.